So we're here today with another video showcasing some of the features of the Samsung Galaxy S Android phone. This time something new from one of the new leaked Froyo firmware, so that's Android Operating System version 2.2. It's probably easy to appreciate this on the big screen via TV apps. We scroll down, have a look at the About Phone section. You can see right there at the bottom that I'm on the Froyo Build JPK. If we head back out and into the wireless network settings and go to Bluetooth, you can actually see a couple of things here that there wasn't previously support for. So if you look at this Dell Bluetooth mouse, long press it options, you can see that on this new Froyo build, it actually recognizes this as a Bluetooth HID profile device. And as you can see, it's connected. So this is the mouse here, straightforward Dell Bluetooth mouse. And if you move the mouse, you can see an on-screen cursor. The scroll wheel works exactly as you expect. Right-click operates as a back key. Pressing and Holding acts as a long press. If you press and swipe sideways, you have the equivalent of an on screen swipe. If we go back into settings, you can also show this will work now with Bluetooth keyboard, so it's trying to connect and has now connected to the Bluetooth keyboard in question. And the benefits of this with TV out is that you have a pretty good replacement for a laptop for the occasional browsing session when your partner is working like she is today and monopolizing any laptop in the household. There you see, we're browsing. And it works really pretty well for this sort of purpose. And in tandem with the keyboard is really nice. So if we wanted to perform a Google search, we could look for Android Froyo update. Enter on the keyboard. And when the page loads, we'll be greeted, I'm sure, with the usual consternation from the users awaiting the much anticipated and frequently delayed Android OS updates. As you can see, you can pull down the notification tray, edit programs. I'm using swipes with the mouse here. So it all works pretty well. And finally, for those who are curious, if you wanted to use these in something like Game Boy, you can. Very simple center mouse click to bring up the menu, input settings, key mappings, and then we can map the keys as I've already done to the keyboard. And if we go into the game, You can see
but everything works pretty well. So just a brief demo. The new Android 2.2 builds that are coming out for the Samsung Galaxy S will include Bluetooth head profile support, which means your existing Bluetooth keyboards and mice have a standard very good chance to work with your Galaxy S without needing to purchase things like Zmotes or GamePro drivers to play games or to browse with the convenience of a nicer interface than just a touchscreen on the phone.